they were um, so, I would say they exuded nimrata. And I think because of that nimrata, I think Guru Sahib blessed them by the giving them the first place in the, in the competition. And so I, I use that as a story to tell my students. So I'm the principal of another Khalsa school, um, Elder Grove campus, that Jere Bache first to ISIG, that they had so much nimrata and they were like so much in gribi. They were like, you know, whenever I would congratulate them, they would just be, you know, uh, very, you know, um, in Nimrata. And so, which is very nice to see that in, in our youth, the, having them the, the qualities, but also the Nimrata to follow with it. Okay, so another question is, which of these virtues do you think is the most important? This is just, people can have different opinions, right? So, Das virtue hege horvi virtues hornke. Which virtue do you think is the most important and why? Well, I can give my opinion, but we can, Hanji. Yeah, I, I believe, like, I, I'm not telling from my school, but I observe few people, and I feel the person who was having Nibirtha uh, was uh, able to achieve all by no means, like, by no effort. So, and uh, somewhere or the other things followed because uh, that he had Nibirtha. Mm -hmm. So I believe Nimrata is the biggest virtue. And yeah. uh, just to go behind for the relationship between point number two and three, mm -hmm. I believe point number two is reinforcement for point number three, mm -hmm. and point number three is retainment for point number two. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so when I was thinking about this, I thought that Nimrata might be the most important for children, especially the ones who are kind of coming on the path of Sikhi. But f what about for parents? I, I think there's another quality here that might be really good for parents. Rath, okay. Practicing truth. Practicing truth, okay. Yeah, there could be important, right? One thing that could be really important is self-analysis. As a parent, and so it's harder to obviously teach the gorns to our children. Or different, you know, But if we can at least, for example, if we can at least, I think with that, you can name the um, negative quality. And I think sometimes that's very important for children. Ke even je gussa kade ondaya or different whatever other negative, you know, ke asi graj rak de hege. For example, let's just say I have a grudge with my sibling or with um, someone, a friend or gorsek or somebody. And I am bringing that into my house into, with, my, with my kid or kids. Um, we have grudges, we have these negativities, but as a parent, you know, we can openly discuss kar sakade with our kids. Okay, we have this upgun. We have, like, we have grudges. We, we do gussa sometimes. And then sometimes, I think that can be very powerful for children. That, you know, yes, we, we have we, we, they will have them too. They will have these negative qualities. But at least if they can name those negative qualities and try to work towards improving those negative qualities. Um, okay. So last year, the most important question is how can these virtues be taught? So by Harshwinder Singh Nikaya Siga, maybe Etihas Sornke, so they can learn from Etihas. How else can they learn these virtues? Practice? If parents practice, kids will observe it. Okay. If we just preach it, and we don't have. Sure. Like, we like to do this, and we don't have to do this, and the kids are not going to be able to connect them. It is right. like Christmas. Yeah, yeah, definitely, right? So they need some kind of modeling, uh, whether that be from parents. Parents are ideal, right? I see John De Hege, Hamesha, our kids should be better than us. And so I think they should get whatever good qualities their parents have, but even trying to seek out through Sangat, 
even better role models than us than, than, than the parent. better Very rare that you'll be the best possible sick for your for your child to see. All right? And so you can expose your children to better sick role models. they can they can really experience and witness Nimrata. They can really experience, you know, forgiveness and these things in a very beautiful way and actually understand them on a deeper level. And so I think sometimes um, Sikhi is so deep that conceptual understanding okay, what is forgiveness? But like the forgiveness can be at such a deeper level as expressed by a good sick in a in a scenario that um, that you know, so as much as we can expose them to these God sex, role model God sex, they can really experience these virtues not just at a surface level, conceptual understanding, but actually like a lived experience and a beautiful experience of how these virtues can be um, expressed. Okay. So next, we have Sikhi routines. Um, Sikhi routines, so Kenny Kovinder Singh shared this Pankati as well. He had the whole Shabd memorized. I don't have the whole Shabd memorized. Gur Sat Gur Ka Jo Sek Khaye So Pal Ke Orthe Har Naam Te Aave. And so, uh, when I was young, um, we had a Sikhi routine starting from grade one in our, in our, in our house, right? So Monday to Friday, uh, and it was very hard for us. Right? Um, and so, but eventually it became easy by like maybe grade two, grade three, tak thorja, easy ho gasiga, right? And so, generally, uh, my dad, he would wake us up, right? Not like full Amritvela, but later Amritvela, right? And then, Sade Panjvijay tak, we had to be in Baba Jita Kamara. And then, so we had as a daily routine, um, I think, uh, so Saturday point to Chebaje, we did Simran. And then from 6 to 6.30, we did, sorry, 6 to 6.45, Nithinim. And then uh, we would take the school bus and basically be gone. And, um, and so that's just one example of a, of a daily security routine. And then on Saturday, there used to be an Amrit Villa program at, in Khalsa School in Surrey. We still live in Vancouver. So Vancouver and the So on the Saturday, then we would then have to get up at like 2:30 in order to be at the school by like 3:30 or whatever. So to see I don't remember exactly uh, but it was around that time, right? And then Sunday was kind of our day that we could maybe sleep in a little bit. We had one day of the week, right? So maybe we would get up at like 6, 6.30, a little bit later than we would get up the rest of the six days. Um, and so that was just an example of having a daily Sikhi routine in the house. Um, and so, and ideally routines should consist of Nitanim as well as Simran, um, ideally. Uh, but whatever level we're at right now, as long as we can, you know, slowly increase that level and, um, and um, just increase, increase that. So other routines are going to Sangat, uh, going to Sangat regularly, seeking out Sangat. Um, and so by seeking out Sangat, I, what I mean by that is... Um, that to have this excitement for Sangat. And so a lot of you know, families might be in the routine, okay, they'll go to Sangat once a week, but actually Chaade Nal Janaya. And you know, that, you know, to have cha to meet Gursex. And because if you have that cha and that excitement, then um, it will definitely um, pass on to your children as well. Um, so, Sikhi related teaching time. Um, roj, maybe thus meant, pandra meant that we can put aside some time to teach our kids about Sikhi. And um, so, again, I'm just, I don't want to go too many details, but this is just a broad outline. 
um, good night sucky time. So one jira easy opportunity. There's a lot of kids that they like a good uh, like a bedtime story, right? So that bedtime story, it's good for kids. It helps them fall asleep. And if we can connect it to sikh atihas, then it's just an easy opportunity to um, to teach them about about about, about sikhi. Uh, so promoting Punjabi at home, exposure to sikhi oriented books and videos. Um, Ajikal, there's so much content that's sikhi based. Uh, we're very lucky, especially people who have had kids in the last five, seven, eight years. Both uh, hegaya in terms of books. Like even just the past year, there's been like 20 books released that have been really good for, 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 for young kids uh, that I know of. Maybe Horvi Hornigay, maybe there's 30 or 40. We have to find them. And YouTube TV, there's so much Sikhi content in the last two, three years for young kids that um, is, 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 is very positive. Okay, so question, okay, how are pillars one to three connected to pillar four? So connections, pillars one to three on this again. So Vaigiri Jito Asis Lenia. So number two was Sikhi skills. Number three was Sikh virtues. Um, how how are those connected to routines? Any of those three? Again, I think it goes back to unless we do this, others will become hollow at some point in time. Hmm? Others yeah. start feeling hollow at yeah, some point yeah. in time because this is ultimately how we can easily stay on the path. Yeah. Jagarai Singh? If you don't know the first, the good things you learned in the first three pillars, what, what will you implement and what will be a routine if you don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sikhi is, is a routine. And so, um, and yeah, and so those have to be implemented in order for there to be um, Sikhi, right? Um, so what else was there? So pillars one to three. Um, yeah, so through Sikhi routines, right? For example, like daily kirtan practice, right? If daily hundiya fit, then at least we can um, really solidify those skills. Um, and so there could be a lot of connections between between the different uh, the different pillars. Okay. So number five, um, understanding your child. So, um, like there's probably going to be, you know, Hazar Book Hornige by different authors, child psychologists. Um, maybe just you can do some, some like uh, awareness of this in terms of just understanding some basic things about child psychology. Kaywari parents Paul Jande about what it was like to be a kid themselves. And so Jadon Asi, you know, for me, I honestly, I don't remember myself being a kid. Right, and so I, I have a hard time ke, uh, as a ki, soch, like thinking as a kid, and so for me it's very helpful to read a book or or to just increase my knowledge um, about children. Right, so a few things that are really important in like child psychology. So ek secure attachment. We might have heard of it before. It's the basic concept that. When a child is born, if they have a firm attachment with their parents, that those children do better in a lot of ways compared to children that have an insecure attachment with their parents. And so psychologically, those children are stronger. And those children will listen to you more, the ones who have a, have a secure attachment to you. So um, shielding them from trauma. Um, so as a parent, um, we can shield them from, we try to shield them from negative experiences. Um, I just wanted to fit that in somewhere. Uh, so there's a lot of questions, right? Um, when is a good time to give in to your children? When is a good time to stand your ground? Uh, there's a lot of questions that I think are, um, are really important. So I have a question. That if we want our kids to do things that are sikhi related and they're not agreeing, how can we get them to listen? 
How can we get our kids to do security-related things if they don't want to do security-related things? History. History? Okay. Sure, sure. So, so yeah. in, inspire or something? Yeah. When they do not want to do, you can't impose on them. Okay. So bring and then just enjoy the dots and build up a frame and then put them in a scenario just push them to uh, Sangat whether they want to enter the Gurdwara or no it's just you have to go you have to be there yeah. so the Sangat the environment and you never know in the whole Sangat everyone has a different ignition point and everyone would have a different moment to get this part so it's as a parent it's your duty to always bring them to such environments and maybe you can uh, in a way like you know appreciate them give them some gifts or make some yeah. promises so it's you listen to me i listen to you give and take way somehow you can Managed yeah, 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 right. I mean, every situation is different, right? You just have to keep trying. Uh, because if we, like, the, ma the number one way to manifest your love for your children is wanting to see them Sikhi the bitch. And having PR for Sikhi and being in Sikhi routines. And if the children are not interested in doing something security related that we think would be really beneficial for them. Um, first of all, it could be some scenarios that you were just doing this for your own um, glorification. That, that the parent will do things because they want the kid to get a prize or get a place or get some attention, and then they get this, you know, reflected glory uh, from their kid. So, kebari sade intentions we got to as a parent. So, sometimes I would say is that we have to ask ourselves: Is there something wrong in our parenting that is causing them to um, have this reluctance? And then maybe having an open conversation with them uh, about w w what is it that, that you're not wanting to do this. Maybe you're, you're scared of failure on something or whatever it is. And then maybe a you poor know, um, solution to still keep them moving forward in their sikhi. So again, kind of last year, a repetitive question. How are the previous year pillars, how are they connected to understanding your child? Anything? So, how are the previous four pillars? So, Jira, um, Guru Sahib, the Vaigruto, Asisa, Sikhi skills, Sikh virtues, Sikhi routines, how are they connected to this and understanding your child? Okay. I think so, connection is really basic, right? It's just that if we have to, every child is unique, right? Yeah, similar to Sometimes lays the foundation mm -hmm. for first four pillars. Yeah. Right? So sure. first of all, like you definitely you do a das, then you uh, bring up a child, you bring a daily routine and everything. First of all, if you are doing one to four perfectly, fifth will never come in picture. Mm -hmm. If you are having a good routine, if you are having sangat, if you are talking virtues, then it would never be a fault that your child would never want to attend anything. Mm -hmm. But if you surface that, I believe it's more important to reinforce the fifth pillar and so that one to four can be followed. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That we. I, the other thing is changes with life stages, our life stages, and kids' life stages, the challenge will be again. Their psychology and the you know, uh, there's a risk reward or different when as compared to the tourism day when they go to middle school, then it's kind of different when they go to high school. Hanji. Yeah. So I, I, I think always one thing is that sometimes 
we try to be perfect where you know it's okay not to be perfect mm -hmm. right? it's like the jab pura nahi kar rahe aap it should not be like zero or one ke karna hai ya nahi karna hai like small steps and okay to a bhi thode aisa kar liye ki je as long as a little bit connection is there the jo kehte hain pani pai ja hota kadi na kadi beach jada hai hamare ke paas ke koi nahi hai ga understand the psychology is, is from that perspective you know we can think about हमेशा वील हैव ए strategy right so this punch you know five pillars or whatever right whatever jo strategy hai ga ya 